Have you ever played a new game and you were just so absolutely overwhelmed by all the moving parts and new mechanics? N no? That's just, just me. If you are like me, you can get a bit stressed on trying to understand a new game's mechanics, and it's okay. Personally, I have been there. I mean, just check out some footage of me playing StarCraft II on Brutal Difficulty. Completely relaxed and in control. Recently, I have talked about why you should play Northgard in 2021. And I'm following up with a crash course of my five most important tips when playing Northgard. Hey there YouTube, I am the Caffeinated Dad. I'm also a variety streamer over on Twitch, link in the description below. We have all been there. We have gotten a new game or a game that was highly recommended to us and our first 45 minutes of the gameplay is like... It happens. With such a wide variety of games all striving to be more unique than the last, it's a bit hectic to say the least. Game mechanics have changed drastically. I hark back to the days of Warcraft 2 where you essentially built an army and then just attack moved right. No pressure. Easy. Simplistic. Northgard is an amazing RTS game with a couple of mechanics that I'd like to highlight but also tips to help you play better at those mechanics. On the surface, the game seems simplistic enough, but underneath that beautiful artwork and the calming ambiance, there is a complex game right in front of you. And that's where I come in. For those new to the game, this is for you. Here are my five most important tips when starting to play Northgard. Scouting. Knowledge is power in RTS games. Knowing what your opponent is doing at any given time gives you a tactical advantage. Outplaying, that's the whole point. Scouting is an essential part of Northgard, and this tip might seem simplistic enough, but make sure that you are upgrading your scouting camp. Too many times I've played the game and I've forgotten until way later into the, into the match to actually upgrade my scouting camp. The benefit is that once you upgrade the scout camp, he can go or he or she can go and explore enemy controlled territory, therefore letting you know what your enemy is doing and where they are. Tactical advantages. Remember, the more you know, the better you can outplay. Happiness! In a Viking game, happiness isn't usually something that comes up ever, but in Northgard, it is a vital part to your success. The happiness level within your game dictates how fast you get a new village. And remember, the villagers are at the core of all of your economy as well as your warband. So, more villagers equals a stronger economy, which equals a stronger war effort, which equals a better chance to... Win the game, that's right, yes, you in the back. Saw ya. Yep. My second tip is don't neglect happiness. Happiness can be improved by a number of different mechanics. Some of the base ones being the more territory that you colonize, the happier your clan is. Or building a brewery or a scald will increase your happiness. The point is, make sure that you keep that flowing because the more happiness that you have, the more villagers and the economy and the war, but I won't say it again, but you get the idea. Micromanagement. This is an absolute necessity for any RTS game. Micromanagement can help you outplay most situations, make you play better overall, and also be quicker to the punch when something changes. The term micromanagement means to dictate each individual unit at any given time. Northgard's systems do a fine job of managing themselves. However, your direct control and telling them where to go and what to do will only help you play better. By the way, if any of these tips have helped you become a better Northgard player, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I like to do a lot of my content based off of real-time strategy games and obviously Northgard. Anyway, let's get into the next tip. Victory conditions. Northgard has multiple victory conditions. We know this. And each clan tends to lean towards a specific condition or they're better acclimated at achieving that condition. My fourth tip is know what your clan is capable of doing and what they are capable of doing best. In short, know your clan's best victory condition. If we look at the Wolf Clan, they are militaristic and more based around combat, so Dominion victory ends up making more sense. 
And then if we look at the Stag Clan, they have an easier time than most achieving a fame victory. Play to your clan's individual strength. My last tip is a simplistic one, but it is one that I find myself struggling with almost every single gameplay. My last tip is keep an eye out for winter. The winter mechanic is arguably one of the most basic portions of this game. It, it, it's about as standard as, as it comes. But I cannot tell you how many times I've been cruising along, moving units, building things, and then it's towards the end of November and winter is coming and I only have 50 wood see that's like the best joke it never gets old regardless as you play the game more you'll have a better understanding and flow of when winter is coming and how much you need to prepare for it but i guarantee you every now and then you're going to be sitting there cruising along and then it's going to get towards the end of november you're going to be like damn it's getting cold in here if you play north guard what are some struggles that you ran into when you first started playing i'd love to hear them write a comment down below as always, thank you for watching. I am the Caffeinated Dad, signing out.